First Samuel chapter 17, amen. I salute you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave his life for many and shed his own blood for us, that we may be a counsel back unto God. I greet you with Jesus' joy. Yes. Amen. I thank God for my own wife and helper to be eternity. Come down and sister, turn it to all the saints of God and press the way out to the house of God. Yes. Amen. We thank God for us. Amen, brother. Perry. Amen. We thank God for him. Yes. Amen. Hold it down the door back there. Amen. Amen. We want to encourage those who get in place and, amen, try to do something for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I want God to use me as much as he wants to. Yes, Lord. Amen. Whatever position God needs, Pastor, said I'll get there. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. First Samuel chapter 17. Write down these six key scriptures because this is the way that God gave it to me. This is the way I'm going to give it to you and I'll be out your way. Amen. First Samuel chapter 17. Just drop these down. Verse 23, 26, 33. 39, 40, and 45. Those six key scriptures. Verse 23, 26, 33, 39, 40, and 45. Thank you, Jesus. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 26, I mean 23, 26, 33, 39, 40, and 45. Amen. Amen. God has something he wants to speak to you today. Thanks of God. 1 Samuel chapter 17. We have verse 23. Could you please say amen? Amen. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, yes. out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. Look at verse 26. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What should be done to the man that killed this Philistine, and take away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine? that he should defy the armies of the living God. Look at verse 33. And Saul said to David, You're not able to go out against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. Thank you, Jesus. Go down to verse 39. And David girded his sword upon his armor and tried to go, but could not because he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these. For I have not proved them. And David put them off him. They were 40. And he took his staff in his hand. Mm -hmm. And chose them five smooth stones. Out of the brook. And put them in a shepherd's bag. Which he had even in a script. And his sling was in his hand. And he drew nearer. To the Philistine. Thank you Jesus. Oh my God. Look at verse 45. Then said David to the Philistine. You come against me with a sword and with a spear yeah, yeah, yeah. and with a shield. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of yes. hosts, yes, Lord. the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defiled. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, go out, go out against that thing in the name of Jesus. Say, so neighbor, go out, go out against that thing in the name of Jesus. To neighbor, neighbor go, out go out against that thing, against that thing. In, the in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Saints of God, I don't know what you're dealing with today, and I don't know what you're facing today, but a word to you is whatever you're facing, go against it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Saints of God, God never meant for you to fight by yourself. Yes. God never meant for you to be in that battle by yourself. Yes, God never meant for you to carry the burdens that you carry. God said, cast all your care upon me because I care for you. Yes. And sometimes, saints of God, we are fighting battles by ourselves when we don't really have to be by ourselves. Did God want to help you? But sometimes, saints of God, just like the one that God was saying this morning, we just don't come to God. Listen, we can get help on that situation. God can turn that situation around. God can lift that burden. God can destroy the yoke. God can save those children. God can save the family. But we got to know how to come to God. Saints of God, sometimes we, we fight uphill battles in life because we don't cry out to God. It's not complicated. God has not made it complicated. But sometimes, saints of God, we make things complicated when God said, all you got to do is call out to me. Yes. Whatever battle that you're facing right now and whatever you're going through right now, go against that thing in the name of Jesus. 
Don't go against it by yourself, saints of God. I don't know if it's financial uh, battles that you're dealing with. I don't know if it's personal battles. I don't know if it's mind battles. I don't know if it is attacking your mind. You got something going on in your emotions. You got something going on in your home. Little Johnny acting bad at school. I don't know what you do with something on your job, but you got to learn how to go against that thing in the name of Jesus. Don't try to go against it by yourself, saints of God. Yeah. Earthy judge ain't going to do it. You're going to need the name of Jesus. Yeah. Bumpy face is not going to do it. You're going to need the name of Jesus. Cavassier yeah. ain't going to do it. You're going to need the name of Jesus. A man, some hips, some thighs. Let me tell you something. That ain't going to do it. Some, some triceps and biceps, guess what? That ain't going to do it. You got to get down to the name of Jesus. I don't care what you're dealing with, saints of God. There is nothing that you're dealing with that's more powerful than the name of Jesus. Yeah. This is the reason why the Bible said God has given him the name that's above every name. And in the name of Jesus, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess. If you want that thing to bow down, just, just start screaming out the name of Jesus. We don't know why our deliverance comes from. We don't know why our help comes from saints of God. But you got to call out to the name of Jesus. Yes. I, whatever you face in saints of God, learn how to take it before God. Yes. Don't take it to your friend. Take it to God. Don't take it to your prayer pilot. Take it before God. Do you hear me, saints of God? Whatever you're dealing with, take it before God. God is able to heal. God is able to deliver. God is able to set free. God is able to turn that situation around. God is able to destroy the yoke. God is able to lift the burden. God is able to to heal your body. God is able to heal your mind. God is able to heal your emotions. Come on, saints of God. He is an all-powerful God. God is still sitting on the throne. He is El Shaddai. He is the almighty God. All you got to get down into a secret place. He's your shield during the time of battle. He's water in dry places. He's joy in the midst of sorrow. Come on, saints of God. We got to call out to Jesus. He is the lily of the valley. He is the bright morning star. He is the bread of life. He is the good shepherd. Come on, saints of God. Yes, you got to know how to call out to Jesus. Yes, we call out to everybody else except calling out to Jesus. Yes, we go to everybody else except going to Jesus. We go to every other house instead of coming to God's house. We go to the dope house and we don't get no deliveries there. We go to the courthouse, we don't get no deliveries there. We go to the script club house, guess what? We don't get no, de no deliveries there. Oh, we go to running house, we don't get no deliveries there. We go to Chanel house, we don't get no deliveries there. Yay! If you want some deliveries, you gotta come into God's house. It ain't no hope inside of the dope house. Do you hear me say, God? There is no deliverance when you're down there in the script club. But you gotta come into the house of God. Oh, if you yeah. want living water, saints of God, if you want to do power, if you want the power of God, so blow your life, saints of God, you gotta come into the house of God. Yes. If you're gonna be delivered, you gotta come into the house of God. If that body gonna be lifted, you gotta come into the house of God. If that God gonna be destroyed, you gotta come into the house of God. If you're gonna walk in your purpose and your destiny, you gotta come into the house of God. Yes, Lord. Thank yes, you, Lord. Jesus. These other houses that we go to, there is no hope inside these other houses. Mm -hmm. See, this is the reason why I come up. You need to come into the house of God. Ain't nobody preaching down there at the courthouse. Ain't nobody preaching and giving you no word and giving your purpose down there at the dope house. Yeah. Ain't nobody at the script club gonna speak something to you that's gonna bring deliverance to your heart. Come on, say son. You gotta get down to God's house. And in God's house is where Jesus' name is at. My God. We need to run to the name of Jesus. I don't know what battle that you're battling right now. And some of us is facing some battles and we shh. We quiet about it. We dressed up, but we facing some battles. We got our hair done, but we facing some battles. We got our makeup on, but we facing some battles. Oh, we dressed up, we look real nice, but we facing some battles. Yeah. We driving nice, but we facing some battles. And some of us, we even got some money, but you still facing some battles that money can't help you with. Let me tell you some saints, God. The only way that that truth and living is going to happen is that you're going to have to come to Jesus. You're going to have to come to living waters. You're going to have to get up under the name of Jesus. Yes, yes Lord. Thank yes, you, Jesus. When you face it. David was facing a battle. Yes, this was the most important battle of his life. Yes. yes. David, oh my God, was facing something yes, that he couldn't face by himself. Face he had enough sense to say, I can't do it on my own. Can't do it on my own. How many of us got enough sense to say, I can't do it on my own? Yes. We got some educated fools too, don't do you remember saying to God? Yes. We got some people that got some degrees on their wall, but they don't got enough sense to say, God, I need you. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. We have some people, let me tell you, they've been to Harvard, they've been to the best universities, but they don't got enough sense to say, God, I need you. Yeah. We got people, they got mentions, they got yachts, they got cars, they got boats, but let me tell you something, they don't got enough sense to say, God, I need you. Yeah. Jesus said, a man's life does not consist of in the things that he has. What do a prophet a man if he gained the whole world but lose his soul? Do you hear me say to God? We got to know how to come to Jesus. We got to have enough sense to say, God, I need you. Yes, Lord. I got to a point in my life, I say, God, I need you. Then been almost 20 years ago, I say, God, I need you. And I didn't even know all that time. The only thing I need to do was say, God, I need you. God, I need you. Four words. Change your life. You hear what I'm saying, God? God, I need you. And when I say, God, when I, when I got away from the machoism, when I got away from the pride, when I got away from, ain't nobody going to tell me what to do, and I ain't scared of nobody. See, when I got away from all that, <laughs> and I cried out to Jesus, huh? that's what God brought deliverance to my heart. Yeah. God, I need you. Well, God, I need you. When we learn how to say, God, I need you, yeah. God is able to step in. Yes, Lord. When you're facing a battle, learn how to call out to the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. David was fighting a battle. Fighting a battle. But told by his father, I want you to go down to your brothers. His brothers was in the army. The Israelites was fighting the Philistines. His father told him, go down to your brothers, and I want you to take some food down there to them. Now you got to remember now that, that David was anointed by Samuel. Uh -huh. So the anointing of God was already resting on him. He said, I want you to go down to your brothers. David didn't get arrogant when he got anointed. He still obeyed his father. He didn't even change God. Some people get anointed and you can't tell them nothing. They think they so anointed, they don't have to submit to nobody. Yeah. They don't have to do what nobody say. But David kept on doing what his father told him. Yeah. He kept on keeping the sheep. Some of us are so anointed that we can't do nothing. Okay. We can't clean the church. We can't get on our knees and pray before God. We can't lift our hands. It bothers me when I see a leader who can't lift his hands. Yes. Yeah. We can't magnify God. Yeah. You want everybody praising God except you. My God, my God. You're so anointed, you can't even lift your hands. You can't even praise God. God. But we cannot get caught up in our anointing and get caught up in our gifts like the one of God said this morning. We can't get caught up in the anointing and get caught up in our gifts because they was given by God. So God. David was a humble man. Mm -hmm. David was a man who walked in humility. And he did what his father told him even though he was anointed to be the next king. He went down there to his brothers down there on the battlefield. God, and this is where we pick up here in verse 23. David is down here talking to the people. Mm -hmm. And while he was talking to them, look at verse 30, 23. As he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, this Philistine of Gad, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to what? Same. The same words, and David heard them. Now what was going on? Why these two arm armies were facing each other. Yes. One was on this side of the mountain, Another one was on the other side of the mountain, and in between them you had a valley. And every day, the Bible said for 40 days, this giant named Goliath will come down in the valley. Yeah. And he said, give me a man so we can fight. He said, if I kill him, y'all got to be our, our, our slaves. He said, but if they kill me, we'll be all slaves. For 40 days, this man kept coming down in the valley saying, give me a man that we can fight. But when God sent David down there, the Bible said that while David was down there speaking to the people, this man came down the valley again. Now, says to God, the Bible said he was a champion. And the Bible said he was a giant. Yeah. Now, I want to deal with this word champion. Because this word champion has been stopping a lot of us from getting to our wealthy place. Yes. Champion means one who stands in between. Because I told you that Goliath stood between the armies of Israel and the Philistines. Oh my God, y'all moving too much and you irritate my spirit. I told you that Goliath stood between the armies of Israel and he stood between the army of the Philistines. A champion was a man who fought one on one. A champion was a man who they sent out and they fought one on one, hand to hand combat. A champion is somebody who stood in between. Yeah. Oh my God, saints of God, we got to get rid of our champions. Yeah. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about the stuff that stands in between us and our deliverance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the champion in your life that you have not defeated? Because some of us have had some champions in our life for so many years. Yeah. I'm talking about that thing that you say, if I just can get rid of this, I'll get close to God. Yeah. If I just can get rid of this, I can do what God called me to do. What about that champion? I'm talking about the man that's standing in between. I'm talking about that problem that you got in your flesh. You said, if I just can get past this, I can do what God called me to do. Yeah. He said, the champion went down in the valley. Yeah. 
still between the armies of Israel and the army of the Philistines. And he said, give me a man that we may fight. What champion is stopping you from getting closer to God? My God, my God. Because that champion stands between you and your purpose. Between you and your purpose. You do got a purpose in God. But you got a champion standing in front of you that you got to defeat before you can get to your purpose. My God. Your destiny is wrapped up inside of God. Yes. There's a champion standing between you and your destiny. You got a destiny in God. But first you got to kill the champion before you walk in your destiny. Come on. And I don't, I don't know what your champion is. But all of us have had a champion. Yeah, yeah. And some of us still got a champion that's standing right before us and they stopping us from walking in our wealthy place. It's stopping us from walking in our deliverance and walking in our breakthrough. He's a champion. Oh, God. Champion. My God. Champion. Who won some wars. A champion is someone who won some wars. Mm -hmm. This thing that you're facing have won a lot of wars. My God. It have captured a lot of people. Maybe your champion is lust. You said, if I just can get past this lust. My God. You said, I'll be able to walk in the purpose of God the way that God want me to. Yes, but you say, every time I try to go forth, lust shows up. My God. And knocks me back. Maybe your champion is fear. Yes. When you fear about what people think about you. Sometimes we can't even lift our hands in the house of God because we're so concerned about our neighbor. And I know that fear is the male cuss word. When you tell a man that he's afraid, he, he, he acts as if you would cuss them out. Yes. Because we try to say that we don't fear. But let me tell you something. We, not, we may not be afraid to fight somebody, but we will be afraid to do what God called us to do. Wow. Because of what people will say. Yes. So our uh, champion is fear. God is calling you, but what are my homeboys going to say? My God. God is calling you. You selling drugs, making big boy money. If I come to God, I got to quit selling drugs. So that was a fear. How is God going to take care of me? Yeah. I don't know what your champion is. Say. Some, some of our champion is unforgiveness. I told you somebody that something is standing between you and your wealthy place. Mm. Unforgiveness is stopping you from really coming to God. Come on. Because I never forgive mama for what she did. Yes. And I never forgive dad for what they did. My God. And I never forgive uncle, cousin, brother, whoever they was. I never forgive them. And I'm going to hold them because unforgiveness is my champion. My it's what's stopping me from getting to God. Maybe it's bitterness that's down inside your spirit. That's your champion. That's stopping you from getting to God. Maybe it's rejection. Come on. Rejection. That mama reject me or daddy reject me. We're dealing with a generation right now. That when they come into the house of God, you just can't be talking about money all the time. But you got to deal with issues. Yes. Because we're dealing with a generation that's been rejected. Uh -huh. I come from this generation. I'm talking about dealing with rejection. And when they come into the house of God, you got to speak about issues that you're going to touch them. Yes. I'm talking about that rejection can come be on. a champion. Because when I was rejected, it kept me chasing women. Come on, saints of God. It kept me chasing for somebody to say something about me. Some of us, we need somebody to tell us that we no good, tell us that we fine, tell us that they love us. You know why? Because we're dealing with rejection. Rejection has been my champion all my life. That every time I try to move forward, rejection will push me right back. Why? Because I've been rejected and my spirit has been wounded. Come on, say to God. Yeah. See, what is your champion? They're stopping you from getting to God. Maybe it's fear. I told you fear about what other people think. Maybe fear is your champion. You want to do great things for God, but fear is keeping you. My God. Rejection is keeping you. Bitterness is keeping you. Jesus. Oh, I'm so angry. I hate everybody. I can't stand nobody. My God. Oh, rejection was causing Pastor Ellis to hurt himself. I'm ministering to somebody. Yep. It caused me to hurt myself. See, I got to be transparent with you, saints of God. Yes. When I was dealing with rejection before I came to God, it caused me to hurt myself. Yes. It caused me to stay up all night drinking. Yes. Caused me to stay up all night smoking. Caused me to stay out on the block with a pistol away. Just let it drive, okay? We sit out there on the block chilling, you know why? Because I'm dealing with rejection. Everybody out on the block got mean mugs on their face. Let me tell you something. We wasn't born with mean mugs on our face, but we got a mean mug on our face because daddy rejected me, and daddy wasn't there, and mama wasn't there, and I'm dealing with rejection. I'll shoot you, I'll kill you a lot because I'm dealing with hurt. Sometimes hurt yeah. is our champion. My God. That's stop us from getting to God. Every time we try to we try to trust God, hurt come back up again. Yes, Sometimes it's the hurt that we're dealing with saints of God. Yes, what is your champion? What is the thing that's standing between you and God? Yes, my God. Champion came down. Oh my God. The Philistine of Gath. Goliath by name. Goliath 
means this man was a Philistine giant. Yes, Lord. The Bible said he was nine feet tall, mm -hmm. about the size of a basketball globe. These women change God. God. This is what David was facing. The Bible said that the man coat of armor was 125 pounds. The Bible said that his spirit looked like a weaver's being. And the spirit head was 15 pounds. I'm talking about the spirit head itself was 15 pounds. Do you hear me say, God? Yeah. This man had brass on his feet. Not only that, but he had an armor girl who went out before him. Before you got to Goliath, you had to kill the man that was in front of him that was coming up on you with the shield. This was a giant. And the name Goliath in the Hebrew means, it means uncovering. And it needs to remove. My God. Because saints of God, before you can walk in your destiny, and before you can be great for God, you got to uncover some yeah. stuff in your life that's been slowing you down from coming to God. Oh, saints of God, let me tell you something. When the sheets come out, sometimes it's embarrassing. Sometimes when God starts uncovering some stuff, sometimes it's embarrassing. When you come into the house of God, and it seems like the pastor is uncovering some stuff in your life, you say, how does this man know this? It seems like he's speaking to me. You know why? Because the Holy Ghost is not the man. It's the Holy Ghost that's uncovering yeah. some stuff. And saints of God, this is the day when you get ready to, to kill Goliath. This is the day when you saw when now that Goliath ruling my life anymore. All they got to be uncovering. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. uncovering. Of who hurt you? Yes, Let's get that out of the way. Yes, it got to be on the covering of who abused you. Let's get that out of the way. It got to be on the covering of who left you, who talked about you, who hurt you. The first husband left, the first wife left. Come on, saints, God. It got to be on the covering. We can't keep coming into the house of God and singing and dancing and praising and worshiping, but we are wounded on the inside of our spirit. We got to get down into the battlefield. Yeah. And we Uncovering. 
covering. Thank you, God, for uncovering stuff that passed out. Yes. Stuff I had hid. Thank you, Lord. Didn't want nobody to know. Jesus. God ain't trying to tell nobody your business. That's why he's speaking to you right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to come and tell the past anything. My God. You don't have to tell nobody else anything. You just need to tell God about yes. it. Yes. So God, I've been kind of you. Yes, And God, I need uncovering. Come on. God, I've been kind of you. Yes, Lord. And God, I need to be delivered. Yes, Lord. God, I've been kind of you. Yes, and God, I need to be set free. Yes. God, I need you to touch me, oh God. Touch God. God, I need you to grow me, oh God. Come on, God. God, I need to be restored in revival, oh God. Come on, God. God, I need you to Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You say, I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, yes. It felt like that. Mm. Before I came to God, I said, I don't know what it is hurting my spirit, yes. but I just can't, can't put, put my, my finger, finger on it. Yes. Why do I feel like this? Yes. Why do I leave away from people and go home and sit in the room and start crying? Ah. I just left the party, but I got home thinking about committing suicide. My God. Got the push in my hand. Jesus. Thinking about blowing my brains out. Maybe it's best if I go ahead and die. Mm. I couldn't put my finger on all those years. Yes. But when I came to God, the Spirit yeah. of God came to our country. Yeah, 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 and God yeah, yeah, said, this yeah. is the problem. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Goliath. Goliath. Oh, my God. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes. What's his name? What's his name? Yes, Lord. And he came down for 40 days yes, saying the same thing. Yes, Lord. Thank you. So give me a man that we can fight. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. And when he said this, the Bible says here in verse 23 that David yes. heard him. Mm -hmm. And look what David said. Verse 23. Verse 23. Verse 23. And look at verse 26. And David spoke to the man that stood by him, saying, What should be done to the man that killed this Philistine mm -hmm. and take away the shame from Israel? For who was this uncircumcised Philistine that he should have fought the armies of the living God? Come on. Let me tell you something. David, brothers, was out there. He had three brothers that was in the army. Listen, they was out there. They was both. They was out there in the army. All the other men of Israel was running. David was a little young boy. He was a youth, maybe 17 or 18. Yes. When he heard this man say this, he said, who is this man? Who is yes, this man? See, God is raising up a generation. Hey. That's not going to have any fear. Yes, See, I was still down with the barrels of pistols. So I'm, I'm showing out of faith to get up in front of people and do what God has called me to do. Oh, yes, God is raising up a mighty army. Amen. That ain't gonna sound about suits, that ain't gonna sound about cars, that ain't gonna sound about bling bling and, and money, do you hear me? God is raising up a generation that say, God, I live, and for God, I will die. Do you hear me say, Scott? David said, David. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Yes, Lord. Talking to my family and the people of God like this. Because somebody in your family got to stand up. Yes, David's brothers was out there, but they was afraid to go out there and fight the lion. But David stood up. Somebody in your family says to God, they got to stand up. Yes, somebody got to stand up and say, this got to stop right here. Somebody in your family got to stand up and stop generational curses. It's been coming down from generation to generation to generation. Somebody got to stand up. Yes, Lord. And say, I plead the blood of Jesus. Over me and my family, yes, come on, say to God. Yes, Lord. David stood up. Stood up. Will you be the man or the woman that stand up in your family? My yes, God, Lord. my God. And say, I will not let alcohol kill me like it killed my father, they father, and they father. Mm. Yes, Lord. Will you stand up and say, I will not let pride mm. kill me like it killed my father, they father, and they father? Mm. Will somebody stand up in the family oh, and say it stops with me being with me? Just because everybody else in the family ain't doing what's right, don't mean that you don't do what's right. Come on. Because the Bible said that we are living in princess red by our men. Somebody is watching you. Yeah, you yeah. think your family ain't watching you? Let me tell you something. Your family is watching you. Yes. Yes. I'm concerned about what both my daughters think about me. Yes, I'm concerned about what my wife think about me. Yes. I'm concerned about what the saints of God think about me. Yes. I'm talking about, about the way that I live. Uh -huh. You're saints of God. Yeah. Because saints of God, you got to, you ain't got to be in your heart that you're concerned about how people are watching you. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, they ain't doing right, but you're doing right. Ooh. They go to the club, you don't go. They go to the house party, you don't go. Yes. You stand on the word of God, then you hear me. Yes. You said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Yes. Oh, my God, David stood up. Woo. David said, I'll kill him. David said, send me out there. I'll kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at verse 33. <laughs> because before David went, his older brother told him, he said, why did you come down here? <laughs> Who did you leave those sheep with? Because the first person that the enemy would try to use to stop you from walking in the things of God is your family members. Yeah. Sometimes it's your 
brothers, your sisters, the first person that tried to stop me from walking on in God was my wife. <laughs> Sometimes it's people that's close to us. Yeah. That the devil is using to try to pull us outside of the house of God. Sometimes it's people that's close around you that try to stop you from going on in God. He was the first person who said something to David. Yeah. Don't you get discouraged because your family member has something negative to say when you start going on in Christ Jesus. Yes, my God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. They reported to King Saul. Mm -hmm. They said, King, we got a man out here. Yes, they said, you want to kill God even. King Saul said, go get him. They brought David in, and when Saul seen David, he said, boy, you play on the harp before me. <laughs> he said, you carry my armor. Yeah. He said, you're a youth. You're small. Uh -huh. He said, you can't fight against this man. Yeah. Because when you make your mind to do something great for God, you're going to get somebody that's going to tell you that you can't do it. Can't Come on, say something. God. Sometimes it's somebody that's in position of leadership that tell you that you can't do it. Sometimes it's a family member that look at you and tell you that you can't do it. Sometimes it's somebody on the job. When you tell them about your dreams, they look at you and tell you that you can't do it. My God. So don't you get discouraged, thanks to God. Yes, Lord. Because somebody tell you that you can't do it. You say I can't do it, but God said that I can. I can. Come on, say to God. Yeah. I'm not going in my own might. I'm not going in my own wisdom. I'm not going in my own resources. Yeah. I'm not going in my own strength. But I'm going in the strength of God. Yes, Don't you let somebody tell you that you're not going to be able to make it. Yes, my God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You said you can't fight this man. You can't fight him. Yeah. I want to speak to some of you yes, who have been paralyzed by the words, you can't. Because mama said you can't. Mm. And mama said, you ain't nothing but a rolling stone like your daddy. You ain't gonna be nothing just like him. Maybe your father told you that you ain't gonna be nothing. And said you can't do it. You ever see some parents that would encourage everybody else's child except their own? Yes, my God. If another child come up and say something, oh, you can do it, you're smart. Yeah. But when you go in there and say, Mom, well, Dad, don't think about doing this. You can't do that, boy. Ain't nobody not coming to you. See, you got to get past <laughs> when people tell you that you can't do it. Yes. Because I told you that you're not going in your own strength this time. Yes. But you're going in the power of God. Yes. And you're not going in your own wisdom. But you're going with the wisdom of God. When people tell you that you can't, say, God said it, I can. Yes. Oh, a lot of people thought me and my wife wasn't going to make it. A lot of people said we couldn't do it. Oh, they'll be the boys. Just give me about five years. Oh, he crazy. Something wrong with him. He hear me says, God, they ain't gonna make it that boy crazy. But oh, but look at God. Look at your home with God. Look at your home with Nisi. Look at your home with Shalom. Look at your home with Tiskin. Look at our great God. Look at our shield and our buckler. Look at our strong tower. My God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You gotta get past them saying you can't make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just could get past what people say. Uh-huh. Some of us, our relationship. It's not based on the inside, it's based on the outside in. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. people are talking. Mm -hmm. And you let them tell you how you should act in your own marriage. Come on. But a marriage cannot be successful. Listen to people on the outside and on Facebook. Yes, Me and my wife don't get on Facebook and air out if we argue. Yeah. Well, I went to the house and I heard Pastor Mark, where we should argue at? We should all get in the house. Yeah. You hear me say, God? We ain't throwing no apostle pants and cussing each other out, but it's our house. Yeah. But you got to you got to hear what God is saying. Yeah. And when God said he's able to keep you saints of God, you got to listen to the word of God. Yeah. Don't listen to your naysayers. Oh, yeah. Every time you fix your mind up to do what God say, you're going to have some naysayers. Yeah. They ain't going to make it. They ain't smart enough. They don't got enough money. But it's not by my never by power. Yeah. But it's by the spirit of God that I'm able to say it. Yeah. He said, you're not able yeah. to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first thing you're going to get is, you're not evil. Yes, Lord. But David said, let me give you a rundown on me. Yes, David said, I know you don't know me. Yeah, yeah. He said, I know I came into the temple and I was playing a harp before you. Yeah. He said, I was carrying your armor with wherever you went. Yes, and whatever you told me to do, David said, I did it. But David said, let me give you a revelation. David said, I was keeping my father's sheep. Yes, uh -huh. He said, a lion came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bird came in and took one of them. He said, I chased after the lion and struck it. And when the lion turned around and tried to bite me, he said, I grabbed him by his beard uh -huh. and struck him and killed him. He said, God has delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear. And he said, this uncircumcised Philistine is going to be the same way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Ye
Lord. Everybody saw it. Yes, Come on, saints of God. Yes, Lord. It's time for you to get it right in private. Yes, All of you want to sit down and talk to each other. Glory Come on, saints of God. You can't hide nothing from each other when you're husband and wife. Oh, my God, if you don't want me because what I tell you, go ahead and go your way. Yes, because I need somebody with me that's going to want me for me. Oh, my breakfast, thank me in the morning. Are you still going to be here? Yes, when I take off my wig and my nails, are you still going to be here? Come on, say, say, God. Ah. You got to get real. <laughs> trying to hide them from my wife. Yes, I still got some old pajamas. <laughs> then my wife been trying to tell me the third way that you got to pull up from the last and walk through the house. My wife said, man, what you throw those away? Yes, Come on, say, say, God. Because I'm not ashamed in front of my wife. <laughs> okay, they were for somebody. You need to go home and throw some stuff away. They ain't tired of looking at that. They want to tired of looking at that. Okay, let me get off that. Oh, my God. He said, but I, I won some battles in pride. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He said, God has delivered me from a Paul the lion and a Paul the bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. Yes. And Saul said, okay, I give you permission to go. Uh -huh. He got his armor and put it on David. Mm -hmm. But Saul's armor was too heavy for David. Too heavy. When he tried to walk in it, he got to stumble it. He said, I can't go with these. He said, because this is too heavy for me. Says God, I told you Saul put his arm on David. Uh -huh. Say, go fight him at. I want to speak to somebody, saints of God, that you wearing somebody else's arm. Yes, what do I mean by that? You trying to act like somebody else. And when you try to act like somebody else, it's like having on Saul's heavy arm on you. Yes. When you try to be somebody else, come on, saints of God. You can't fight this battle trying to be somebody else. Come you on. have to be yourself in the spirit. The problem with this generation is that we try to be like Lil Boosie. We try to be like Beyonce. We try to be like JC. We try to be like everybody except who God calls to be. Come on, saints of God. But you can't watch somebody else on. I preach like pastors, I talk like pastors, I walk like pastors. When you see me, this is me all the time. Do you hear me? I'm not trying to act like anybody else. Come on, say God. Don't put nobody else on on you. Come on, yes, Lord. You're trying to walk mm. in something that's somebody else's. My God. All your life, you felt like you being you was not enough. Yes. My God. So we try to use some extension sometimes. Yes, and we're trying to walk in what somebody else told us to walk in. What you learned in the hood and what you learned in the locker room. You trying to walk in there. You got on somebody else's armor. You trying to be somebody else. And guess what? It's been heavy on you. Because you feel like I can't be myself and be accepted. But let me tell you something. If you came to self pastor for who he is, get out of my life. My God. Jesus. 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 He put on Saul's armor. Saul's armor. Then he took it off. Mm -hmm. Armor was something that protected a person. Yes. I want to speak to you, saints of God, because a lot of us got on armor right now. Now you can get mad at Pastor now because Pastor had on it first. I told your armor was something that protected a person. Yes. And sometimes, saints of God, even in the streets, a mean mug can be armor. Yes, yes. Because I'm hiding behind this mean mug. Come yes, on, sir. And it's my armor to keep you back from me. Yes, sir. Because if I look mad all the time, you won't know that I'm mad. Yes, sir. And maybe you won't test me. Yes. Come on, saints of God, you ain't gonna talk to me. But already, man, sometimes my tattoos can be armor. Yes. When we got tattoos on, we cover they tattoo, and sometimes that ain't nothing but armor. Yes. Don't you see that tear drop on my eye? That mean that I done killed somebody. Huh? Come on, saints of God. Yes. Because sometimes our tattoos ain't nothing but armor. Yes. It's stuff that we hide behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them yeah. triceps and biceps ain't nothing but armor. But if you get behind them triceps and biceps, you got a scared little boy, do you hear me? We was shaking. We needed mama. We needed daddy. And who wanted to potential? Come on, saints of God. We, can't, we keep hiding behind Saul's armor. Come on. Yes, and what are you hiding behind, saints of God? Jesus. Brother, is, you, is it your triceps and biceps? Is, is it your car? Is it your money? Is it the trumpet wife you got up on your arms? My God. Woman of God, is it your eyelashes and your wigs and your weave? And <laughs> is it the way that you, is it your hips, your lips, and your fingertips? What is it? What is it that you hide behind? Yes, when you get behind all that, who do you have then? Woo! Come on, say to God. I want my work to be wrapped up in God. Yes! I want my work to be wrapped up in what I'm worried and what I'm driving. No, Jesus said a man's life does not consist of anything that he has. Your life is not wrapped up in your money, your cars, and what you drive, and what you work, and your eyelashes your weave and your tricep and your bicep but your life is wrapped up in God. Wrapped yes, up in Lord. God. Yes, Lord. I can't keep carrying other people on. Woo. I can't keep acting the way they want me to act. I can't marry the person they want me to marry. Yes, because sometimes our family members tell us who to be with. Yes. Child, she don't look good to me. 
but you know she's a good woman. Yeah. And you throw her away because mama or dad or brother or sister or auntie don't like them. Uh -huh. Come on, sis, y'all, we ain't gonna be real. Yes. Because we let other people run our marriage. Yeah, Come on, we can't keep walking in what other people think. Ain't you don't like the fact that you go to church, so now you don't come to church. Yes, Your friend don't like the fact that you come to church, now you don't come to church. We can't keep walking in what other people are saying about us. We have to obey God. We have to obey God. Yes, Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank take you. Take it off. Take it off. Yes, today you take it off. Yes, Lord. What they think about you, today you take it off. Yes. Take off the pride and arrogance. So today we take it off. Yes. I'll beat myself before Jesus. Yes, God, I stand before you. Fair. Fair. I told God, this is me. Mm. I said, God, you got the wrong person. I know you do. Mm. And talk about using me. But God said, no, I don't get the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Mm -hmm. Before you was born, God said, I sanctified right. you. He said, I ordained you to be a prophet right. unto the nations. God said, I'm going to step in you with all your flaws. Everything about you, what you did, what don't nobody know about, God said, still come. come. Because God said, I called you before you did it. Yeah. Don't you let nobody try to disqualify you because they bring up something you did in the past. God called you before he put you inside your mother's soul. The only thing you got to do is cry out to Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Today we take off the arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff we hide behind. Yes, Lord. David took his arm off and went down to the brook. Yes, Lord. That five smooth stones out the roof. Yes. The size of a baseball or a tennis ball. Put them in his shepherd bag. Yes, David got a staff in his hand mm -hmm. and got his sling. Because back in this time, people would put big rocks inside of slings. And they would wind them up mm -hmm. and they would throw them. And David got his sling. Yes. Went down there to the battlefield in front of the giant. Yes, and the giant stood up and came down. And see little bitty David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to kill this little boy. Uh, and I sent the little boy out here to fight me. Yeah. And Goliath, see David. David had five rocks inside of his script. When you read the Bible over in Chronicles, it speaks about four more giants. Yeah. David got five big, big rocks for five giants. He said, when I kill him, if they come, he said, I'm going to kill them the same way. Come on. But say, God, you got to know how to go down to the screen. Yeah, I'm going to go down to David Waters. Come on. He went down to the screen and poured out five big rocks. You have to know how to go down to living waters. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. And you have to reach down inside of living water and pull you out some scripture sometime when you're facing a situation. Come on. Yes. The reason why come, the reason why come, David got to sling because David said, I'm not going to fight this man close hand to hand. He said, I'm going to hit him with that rock in his head before he get to me. See, sometimes, thanks God, you got to send a rock to that man right before he get to me. Come on. You got to know how to speak the word over your family and speak the word over your children. Hallelujah. Right before danger come, you hear me? Yes, Lord. Oh, I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Hey. I plead the blood over my family. I plead the blood over my marriage. I plead the blood over my finances. I plead the blood over my heart. You got to send the word before the danger even come. Yes, Lord. Pray for your children before they go to school. Pray for the marriage before you get into a fight. Yes, Pray do you hear me say to God. Yes. Send forth the word. Say, God, you sound the head and not the tail. Yes. I'm the father and I believe. Bless my going in and bless my coming out. In the fruit of my body is blessed. Oh my God. God, you say you have given me the authority to trip on service and scorpions. Yes. And all the power of the enemy, nothing shall enemy in torment. me. No weapon that formed against me should go to be able to prosper every time that rise up against me in judgment. Oh God, you should have God, you say I should receive power. I should receive power. Yes. Come on, say to God. The word, the word, the word. David, I'm going to send something his way before you get close to me. Yes, Lord. The giant came down to where David was. He's something to give your flesh to the wild beast of the field. Uh -huh. I'm going to give your flesh to the fowls of the air. Yes, he came with a sword, a spear, and a javelin. Uh -huh. David said, you come at me with a sword and a spear. Hey! And you come at me with a javelin in your hand. He said, but I come at you in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord of hosts. Saints of God, that's why I told you what you said, me, in the name of God. Yeah. Don't you try to do it by yourself, do you hear me? Yes, I told you when I first you know, opened up that God never meant for you to go through it by yourself. God never meant for you to carry that word and carry that heaviness and carry that depression and carry that fear. Yes. God said, cast all your care upon me because I care for you. Yes. And whatever you go through, saints of God, go through it in the name of Jesus. Name every of trial, you. every tribulation, everything that me and my wife have been through, we went through it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Lord. you in the name. The name. The name and character. I'm not coming in my own character. You say, how he going to preach? Because I'm not coming in my own character. I'm coming in the character of Jesus. Character meant somebody's reputation. Come on, say to God. I'm not coming in my reputation. Pastor don't got no reputation no more. My reputation is wrapped up in Jesus. Because the Bible said that we are hidden in Christ Jesus. I don't got no reputation. I'm not trying to prove or point to nobody about what I can do. Why? Because my reputation is wrapped up in Jesus. I'm coming against that thing in the name of Jesus. I'm coming in his reputation. Name it authority. When you go in the name of Jesus, that means that you go in the authority of Jesus. Oh my God. Authority means exusia. Exusia is delegated authority. It's when God gives you jurisdiction. Yes. You got jurisdiction in your house and you don't even know it. Ha. The devil run around in your house, you don't even know Jesus give you the authority to keep that devil out. You hear me say it's God. Yes. He's going to give you the authority to turn up on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing should be able to harm you. Say it's God, you got to understand that you got exusia and you got authority. But he said, I come in the authority of God. I'm not fighting this thing in my own authority. I'm coming in the authority of God. Yes. I'm not coming this thing in my power. I'm coming in the power of God. He's not coming to you in the name. Yes, Lord. Name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name. Yes, Lord. The name. The name. Back then, they weren't using Jesus. They were using Yahweh. Mm-hmm. Because they didn't know nothing about Yeshua at that time. There was an Old Testament. So I, he said, I come to you in the name of Yahweh, who we call Jehovah. Mm-hmm. Then, when we get into the New Testament, we have Jesus, who is the Son of God. In Hebrew, it's, it's Yeshua. But Jesus' name reflect back to his father. Yes. When you look at the word Jesus or Yeshua, it means Yahweh is salvation. salvation. Or Jehovah is salvation. Jesus said, I am the door. Uh-huh. Which means if you want to get to God, you got to come through me. So when you say the name of Jesus, you're already saying that my father is my salvation. Yes. Salvation means to save. It means to deliver. Yes. It means to set free through your living. It means to heal. So when you say Jesus, you're saying, my father is my salvation. Yes. I'm not going to deliver myself. God is going to deliver me. Yes. I'm not going to set myself free. God is going to set me free. I'm not going to turn this situation around. God is going to turn it around. Yes. I'm coming in the name of Jesus. I'm coming in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, I told you that Yeshua name meant Yahweh is salvation. Mm-hmm. And this is what some of y'all need to know right now. His name means Yahweh is salvation. Mm-hmm. Yahweh means I am that I am. I am when he told Moses to go back to Egypt, he should tell them, I am, I have sent you. Mm-hmm. I am in Hebrew means I exist. Yes. And saints of God, it's a word to some of you. That problem that you're dealing with, you don't have to be discouraged because guess what? Your God exists. Yes. Come on, saints of God. Yes. See, life is miserable if God didn't exist. Yes. If God didn't, it didn't exist, guess what? Life would be miserable. God, because he lives. The fear that you face it, you say, my God exists. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The problem in your marriage, you and that man, you and that woman get together and sit down and say, listen, you ain't trying to be right. I'm not trying to be right. Let's let God be right. Let's let his word be right. You ain't going to have the last word. I'm not going to have the last word. Let's let God's word have the last word. Because our God exists. We don't have to fear. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be depressed. We don't have to be stressed. Why? Because my God lives. My God exists. Hallelujah. We can't make it if we don't believe God exists. You have to know that God exists. You won't have no hope if you don't know that God exists. You won't be restored if you don't know that God exists. Your God exists. He sits on the throne. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God exists. God exists. Put on screens ready. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Saints of God, whatever you face, mm. I want you to come against that thing. Mm. Screens in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Saints, I don't know what you're facing right now. You said, man, I'm facing some things on every hand. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You said, well, I don't got no problem with my finances, but it's something in my my spirit, my emotions. 
that I have not been able to shake for years. Yes. You say, man, I'm going on 40 and I'm still dealing with that same champion. Yes, Lord. That same thing that's standing between me and my destiny. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you say, I don't know how to shake it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, do it through the name of Jesus. Yes. When God delivered me, it was through the name of Jesus. Yes, the burden was lifted. The young was destroyed through the name of Jesus. I don't know what you face. It could be sickness in your body. It could be a bad report that you got. It could be something going on on your job. Some of you right now have fear about what's going to happen up the road. Yes, and you haven't even got up there yet. Yes, but you have been worried for so many years, what's going to happen to me? Yes, Where am I going to end up in? I told you fear can be a champion. Yes, it can be something that's standing between you and your God. Yes. But today, saints of God, you say, I give it over to God. I kill the liar today. That thing that's been a giant in my life, that it seemed like I could not look around because it was so tall, I'm coming against you now in the name of Jesus. And I will be victorious. Me and my wife have been victorious for the last almost 20 years because we've been going in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm not tired yet. Yes, I'm not tired yet. I'm telling you, saints of God, I I'm not tired. I want to run home with King Jesus. I don't want to give up. I don't want to go back into the streets. My past is behind me. Because it was through Jesus that I was able to shake my past. Come on, say to God. It was through King Jesus that brought me out of that situation and delivered my, my mind and delivered my heart. It was through Jesus. Stand on your feet around the building. If you need 